Hello friends, welcome back to E-Dental Formula. We provide you with micro lecture series, series number 1. Today we are going to learn more about amino acids. Coming in detail about amino acids. So everybody will be knowing what is an amino acid. Amino acid is the basic structural unit in a protein component. So amino acids are structurally made up of two functional groups. One amino group and which is the basic part and one carboxyl group which is the acidic part. So look into the picture, the general structure of an amino acid is given over there. So there you can see NH2 which is the basic structure and COOH group, carboxyl group which is the acidic structure of an amino acid. So generally there are around 20 amino acids which are found in proteins. So there is an exception for this basic general structure of an amino acid which is glycine. In case of glycine, the R component is substituted by, hydro by that of the hydrogen compound. In case of other amino acids other than glycine, the R will be substituted by, it will be linked by another carbon atom of a, another amino acid. So when amino acids are linked to one another with the help of a uh, carbon to carbon linkage, it forms a protein component. Now let's discuss an important MCQ which is repeatedly being asked in case of NEET exams, NEET MDS entrance exams or various Gulf exams and any exams of that matter related to biochemistry. Based on nutritional requirement, we can classify amino acids into essential amino acids, semi-essential and non-essential amino acids. So what are these essential amino acids? The one amino acids which we cannot be synthesized by the body. The ones which are not synthesized by the body itself are known as essential amino acids. So there is a very short mnemonic to remember these essential amino acids which is known as H vital LMP. So if you remember this mnemonic H vital LMP, it is very easy to recollect the essential amino acids. H stands for that of histidine, V stands for valine, I stands for isoleucine, two T's which are standing for threonine and tryptophan, A stands for that of arginine and L stands for that of lysine and M methionine and P stands for phenylalanine. So among these H vital LMP, that is 10 essential amino acids, if we say the two uh, essential amino acids are reclassified now as semi-essential amino acids, which are arginine and histidine. Okay, because arginine and histidine are not synthesized in the adults. They are, they are not synthesized in children, but they are synthesized in adults only. So arginine and histidine are the semi-essential amino acids. Okay, rest other 10 amino acids are being classified into non-essential amino acids. So just remember for MCQ viewpoint, essential amino acids are 8 in number. Okay, and 2 are semi-essential amino acids, arginine and histidine and rest are non-essential amino acids. Coming on to the structure of protein, so how do these protein structure exist? So it can exist in a primary form, secondary form, tertiary and as quaternary form that is oligomers. Okay, so what is a protein? A protein is a component which is made up of minute amino acids. So amino acids they become a link or chain to form the protein component. So how do they exist? How do they exist? look into the picture they exist as primary structure okay as a single chain when you give a twist and turn it becomes a secondary structure okay if you give more twist and turns it becomes tertiary structure which is the most stable form of the molecule and the last one you have the quaternary structure just imagine for better understanding just imagine you are in a house a house which is made up of many rooms so each in a each room you have walls so a single wall of the room is considered as the primary structure within that room the two walls are considered as the secondary structure okay the entire room forms the tertiary structure and all the different rooms in a house forms the quaternary structure so this is the way you have to recollect and if you uh, if the mcq if it is being repeatedly asked which as which is the stable most stable form of the protein structure the answer is tertiary form the tertiary form of the molecule is the most stable form of the protein moving on to another important mcq which is being repeatedly asked from this topic is color reactions of protein so how do you test protein the most confirmatory test that if you have a food item which is made up of protein, how do you detect it is made up of protein or carbohydrate or fat? So the confirmatory test for protein is actually the biuret test. 
so what is a biure test a biure test is when there is two moles of urea which is being heated you get the component biurate okay you can see in the picture it is being added to that of diluted copper sulfate when it reacts with diluted copper sulfate if the compound contains protein it will give purple color okay it gives purple color and the purple color is actually the formation of copper coordinated complex okay so it is copper coordinated complex it gives purple color so this particular color which is being given by the protein is indicated by biure test it gives a confirmatory test for the presence of protein in that particular substance okay clear so friends through these micro lectures a general formula is bringing to you the important questions which are being repeatedly asked in each topic so today we selected amino acids as our first topic so what are the mcqs which we dealt in these 5 minutes so these are micro lectures which are just for 5 minutes so amino acid in that main questions being asked is what are the essential amino acids they are histidine and arginine are semi essential amino acids as i have told you semi essential because they are not synthesized in children okay then we discuss regarding what are the essential amino acids there are eight essential amino acids the second question and rest all amino acids are non essential amino acids because because they are being synthesized within the body and the fourth question we discussed was which is the most stable form of protein that is the tertiary component of protein and the last one fifth question we discussed was the important confirmatory test to identify protein which is the biure test so i discussed what is biure test when two moles of urea reacts on heating it gives biure the compound which is present uh, from that of protein so the biure on reacting with diluted copper sulfate it gives a purple color which indicates that the compound we had contains protein within it so that is copper coordinated complex is being formed so just remember the color purple color it by urine test confirmatory for protein okay so thank you thanks a lot